Hey guys, welcome back, and this is Ty with another video for you. And uh, what you're looking at is a Taito F3 um, motherboard. Um, I got this back in, let's see, uh, I don't know, it was probably like February, even probably a little earlier than that. And I got that from a um, uh, local gamer. She actually lives in Massachusetts, not too far away, but um, she'd actually bought, she already had an F3, and she bought a board off of eBay a cartridge for the F3, and it came with this board, and uh, she gave this to me, um, kind of like as a favor, because I'd done something else for her, and uh, um, this one has a problem with it, the uh, sound isn't working properly, and you see right here, this is the sound chip, it's a Insan Q, or whatever it is here, we get close like that, that's the sound chip, and um, one of the things I noticed as soon as I got it, I'm going to flip this thing over, is right Let's see here. Got a good light here. Okay. Do you see that right there? There's damage to the bottom of the board to scratch. And you see to the the pins there, to the right of those pins, those traces are actually ripped or cut right off. And those go right back to the soundboard. Let me flip this back open again. Alright. Okay, so. Alright, so there's a tear and the sound chip is right here. So I'm thinking one of the, the traces from the sound chip is actually busted. Right there's the sound chip. And there it is right there on the back side. So I'm going to actually repair those traces. I'm just going to use some very fine wires to fix that. Um, do some con continuity traces on it. But let me uh, fire this thing up so you can see what it's like. Okay, so here is the board. And here's the cartridge. This is what an F3 cartridge look like, looks like. And this I picked up from a, from a KLV um, member. Um, nice and cheap. And uh, this is the Asian version of the cart. And if you say it here, it says America on the F3. Now, the differences between these uh, cartridges and the boards really is, is just physical. It's like a Super Nintendo. You've got these little holes that are knocked in the uh, connectors. And then on the... On the on the sockets on the board, um, let's see if we can get here close to the if it's still even visible. You can kind of get there. You can see this, that it's actually been, there's little plastic pieces in there that stop a non, the wrong region cart from going in, and they've, those have been removed. So I was fortunate in that the person who owned this before me had actually removed, actually probably several people before me had actually removed the region protects on this board, so I can put any board I want in this. So I'm just going to do that right now. So the way this works is we've got the cartridge here, we flip them open, these side things, line it up like that, press it together, click the, pin, the uh, clamps in place, and uh, there you go. There's uh, Here's all the uh, extra player connectors, and there's a uh, jumper here to switch it between using a, either a trackball or a, um, a spinner right here and uh, right out set for a joystick. If I ever got Arkanoid for this thing I would want to switch that over. I'm just going to plug this into my harness right here. I have this just sitting outside the cabinet just so you guys can see the game better. Alright. So get that lined up. Turn these extra lights off. And turn the game on. You can actually hear the sound amp running on this thing. You're clicking on. We should get a little bit closer. See, the interesting thing is this really isn't much different than the uh, the Neo Geo uh, Puzzle Bobble 2. I don't know if there's any difference at all, but uh, I actually picked this up because it was just so cheap and I could use it as testing to get the sound working on this board again. Um, I didn't want to spend the money for some of the better cartridge or the harder to find cartridges until I was sure that I'd get the F3 working properly. So yeah, so here, uh, let me clean this thing up. So as you can hear, it's, there's no... Um, nice thing here, you can select versus a puzzle game or versus the computer. I'm going to do the puzzle game mode.
You see, so it's it's working fine. It's just we don't have any. I don't have any sound for it right now. So there you go. There's my uh, F3, my Taito F3 with a uh, puzzle bobble on it. Um, and uh, that's that's it for now. Um, just to show you all, since I'm here, let me turn the light back on here. I'm going to turn the cabinet off. If you look inside here, I've got... Um, this cabinet's great because it's got a lot of room inside. And uh, I've actually got uh, six Capcom CPS2 games in here. And what's really cool about that... Let me just unplug the, type, the F3... can just reach inside here. Oops. Like so. This one's a little, little bit more difficult. <laughs> like that. And power back on again. nor the buzzing marquee here. <laughs> and so that easily I can just reach in and change the game that's in here. And uh, a lot of people think that this cabinet is actually a Mortal Kombat cabinet, and it's not. It's uh, This is actually a um, cabinet that was built by um, Pacific Video Gaming slash Semco, and that was, that's actually Hanaho, the company, if you ever guys are familiar with some of their uh, joysticks that they would sell. And it was made by, uh, I believe it was made for Capcom to sell their cabinets when they were unable to fill the orders for, um, in just using the Dynamo cabinets. So, uh, so yeah, so this one's, uh, it's kind of a unique cabinet because it looks so much like an MK, but it's different in the design. One thing, it's got a slot, the tray slides out the back. It, it's very, it, it is very different, although it looks similar. Like here is a, this is, this is a Semco cabinet, and this is actually... It's actually MK4 cabinet. It's factory, factory converted to Radical Bikers. And you can see that up under here you've got a metal grill. And things are just uh, slightly different on it. It's, it still is very similar in design. It's obvious that Semco ripped them right off in their design. But uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll have another video for you.